For me, the thing that defines an influential brand is the brand that's really taken the opportunity to understand what its tone of voice is. It might sound incredibly rudimentary and very simplified, but so few brands actually come across as having a personality. And those that do have a personality have taken years or decades even to define what that sounds like. And if you think about some of the best brands overseas, the way that Wendy's engages with its customers on social, the way it throws shade at its competitors. If you look at the likes of Innocent Smoothies out of the UK, you can see the sense of humor. You can, you can sense the British dryness from it. And I think that for me, this is when brands become influential, is when they become a, a part of the conversation and they become a part of the, the social discussion. When brands merely try and butt their ways into conversations or discussions, they almost feel like that one person who was never invited to the bride and they just don't want to let you go and they just keep asking you the questions. So for me, an influential brand is really something that, that fits naturally and you want to have banter with it. You want to have a play with it. You want to tease it and you want it to tease you back because otherwise we just have AI rolling out through all brands and all social channels and we'd just be getting calculated responses determined by an algorithm.